Ah, hey, Merp Nation, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So have you ever wanted to try out virtual reality with VR PC games, but you cannot afford a virtual reality headset? Then I got something for you, that's right. I was just going through the web and I saw a company named Riftcat. I contacted these guys and I wanted to talk to them. And that's because I think there's a big problem with virtual reality at the moment. And there's a lot of people that cannot try virtual reality and want to try it, obviously. Um, so Riftcat uh, already knew about this problem probably and they wanted to do something about it. So they created V-Rich. And now you're asking, what is V-Rich, Merp? So basically this software will let your PC think that your phone is the virtual reality headset. As what I'm wearing right now on my head is just a cheap ass uh, mobile phone VR headset thingy. Uh, it costed me like around $12. It's not expensive. I just wanted to buy it to showcase it to you guys. V-Rich is uh, basically really awesome. I just tried it out. I did a couple of things. There's like a lot of settings in the RiftCat software where you can adjust uh, 60 frames per second, 30 frames per second. There's like different codec changes, the bit rate. You can change a lot of stuff. So basically you can use a Google Cardboard or any other virtual reality headset that has to do with mobile phones such as Gear VR, Google Cardboard, Daydream or something. I can't name them all, but there's a lot of options that you can use. Now the awesome part is, is still to come. A lot of people are thinking, yeah, but you need motion controllers and you need different stuff. Uh, that's true. Some games you cannot play with this because you need the motion controllers for that. But there's a lot of like native supported VR games uh, that you can still play, such as Minecraft, Subnautica, Elite Dangerous, like a lot of race games. Uh, all the games where you basically don't need the uh, controllers, you can basically play with this software. And that's really awesome. The big question that comes into everyone's mind now is, uh, is it free? Basically it is, but you only have 10 minutes of session time with the free version. The paid version, which is only $14.99, it's not expensive, will give you unlimited time uh, and you can basically play all those VR games. Uh, there's different kind of settings that you can use with the software. They recommend you to use the 5 GHz, otherwise you will see some screen tearing and everything because of the network that's going a little bit too slow. So I tried both out, 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz of wireless. And I need to say that the 5 gigs is way better. It's just right on point. There's almost no latency. So if you do not have a budget for virtual reality, I definitely recommend you using this. I also got a link down in the description below. Just imagine yourself that there's like a lot of VR experiences that you cannot play with motion controllers and you can just basically do it with this. With this thing and with the mobile phone and you can just play or experience VR experiences that you already always wanted to experience. So it's just a cheap solution. I think there's a lot of people watching this video that don't have the money to just play VR games or just buy the HTC 5 or the Oculus Rift or any mixed reality headset or whatever. So this is a really good solution just to step in a little bit of virtual reality to experience it. There's a lot of people already playing Subnautica with uh, an headset with the HTC 5 or the Oculus Rift. And for just a couple of bucks, you can play Subnautica yourself as well. You can play race games, uh, you can play whatever you want. So basically, if you experience any problems while trying to use the software, they got like a backup team there as well, a support line where you can contact them and just tell them your problem. So I need to be honest here, this video is sponsored. It's in the description below as well. Um, but I'm not telling any lies about this. I tried it out myself and if it didn't work out for me, I would tell you guys as well. And uh, I'm not gonna lie to my mates, it's simple as that. So, But it just works, it, it just works guys, it really works. Uh, so for the people that are not owning any uh, HMDs like the HTC 5 or the Oculus Rift, you should just definitely try it out. Maybe just try the free demo first. Uh, you can all, always go to the 1499 version. So there's a link down in the description box underneath this video about this software where you can go and just check it out. Just read it a little bit about it. You can first try the free demo if you want and if you really like it, you can buy it for 1499. It's not expensive. 
especially not for what they are bringing with their software because you can basically try out a lot of VR stuff. Go buy yourself a Google Cardboard or something like this. Uh, it, don't, it doesn't have to be expensive. So first of all, Rivcat, thank you for this opportunity to share it with the people that are following my YouTube channel. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Everything is VR related or just game related. And like I said before, just go for it guys. It's just free for like the 10 minute experiences. So that's it guys. The link is down in the description box below. You can try out the demo. It's 10 minute per session. Just go and try it out, Matt. That's right. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.